hello there and welcome to the new power bi tutorial where i will show you how you can create a bullet chart within power bi so bullet chart is a very meaningful chart which helps us look at how well we are doing for as compared to the target so for example we have the targets for sales we have targets for budgets and uh, we may want to always evaluate our position Let's say for example it's been six months that we are into the financial year or the calendar year and how well we are doing as compared to the target uh, so that means we have to manage the situation in such a way that we we should meet the target based on the defined period and the defined value and the bullet chart really helps us looking at this information and within power bi it's very easy to create a bullet chart with just a few clicks so I'm going to show you how you can create this bullet chart. Just before that, a quick information that this sheet, which has a lot of Power BI tutorial, which I am posting almost every day, is present in this sheet, which you can search. And based on your interest, you can find the tutorial and you can click on the link directly from here. Uh, so this sheet is present in the description and you can utilize it. Uh, and share it with the, our friends or colleagues who may want to learn the Power BI step by step. Also, what I have in the description is the Google Data Studio report, which contains all my video that I have posted on my channel related to Power BI or Tableau or ClickView, ClickSense, Python. All of those are present in just one single report, which you can search, and the link is present in the description. So I'll suggest go ahead and utilize that. All right, so now with the topic we have, Power BI Bullet Chart, let's go ahead and start this. Okay, so here I am in the Power BI, and here is a quick representation of the bullet chart. Not a very good representation, I accept, but just for the sake of example, I have tried to create one version which make a little bit sense as to how well we are doing whether we are in green zone, yellow zone, or there is a red zone slight line that you can see. We will see how we can create all of this and, uh, and uh, create our visualization for comparison perspective. All right, so what do we want is, first of all, let's go ahead and remove this. So I've removed it. And then within the visualization, uh, we need to go here on the get more visual and we need to click on get more visual over here here in this visualization box we can choose the bullet chart we can basically do the search or we can come here in the all and i believe uh, we should have it either yeah there you go the first chart itself is the bullet chart and you can click on add since i have already added my bullet chart is present over here not only this, if you don't find it here, you can click on the search and you will be having the bullet chart searched for you. So this is the bullet chart that I'm using. And if you will see, this is uh, this visual is certified by Power BI. And if I'm not wrong, it is created by Microsoft itself. So if you see, if this is, yeah, this is created by the Microsoft Corporation. If you will see, there is a description which is presented over here, which you can read it just to get more information about this visual. So you can learn by having the additional information and you can have like frequently asked questions section to relate it to this power visual. All right, so since I have already added, but for you, you need to click on add to add this. Okay, now, once we have this over here, we'll click on the bullet chart over here. Let me expand this. So what do we want? At the minimum, what we want is the category, the value and the target value. This is like the minimum what we need. Okay, so what is category? Let's say we want to add our favorite product category. Mm, let me put it again. So we have product category. We need to have the sales, right? and we need to have the target value now generally the target value is present in a separate field so what i've done is i've created a measure called sales target over here so if i click on the sales target it's nothing but sum of order of sales multiply with 1.2 
So that means whatever the sales value will be, it will be increased by 20%. So for this example, I've created this, which I can then pull it over here on the target value. And if you see for each of these value that you have for each of the technology, self furniture and office supply, you have it ahead 20% over here. So this is a workaround that I have done, but maybe in your case, you will be having the actual target value in a separate field altogether, which you can utilize it. Okay, so now what we need next is basically these four categories, which is needs improvement, that means red, satisfactory, that means let's say yellow, good, let's say orange, and very good, let's say green. So we can choose each of these categories and, and basically figure it out whether uh, this is really making sense for us. So need improvement. So what we need is basically over here is sales. I'll just put sales again. So if you see the value is sales and need improvement is also sales. So that's why it is red. But what we, what we can do is right now it is some, we can choose, change it to minimum, right? And this will have the minimum of sales. After that, what we can do is add again the sales over here in the satisfactory. And now if you see, you have the satisfactory value, which is coming over here. Um, so what we can do is from satis for satisfactory, let's say we say average. So if you see the average is comparatively very high from the, uh, from the minimum. So that's why you have the minimum value over here and then you have the satisfactory and let's say the last point what we take is the good. Um, so for good again we'll try to take the sales and let's just try to take the maximum probably. So that's what you are getting it over here but uh, if you have the different values for these different categories what where it needs improvement satisfactory good and generally they are available if you need to capture it as a metric all of these values you can provide it needs improvement satisfactory good and if you have another criteria let's say for very good so generally what happens is red yellow then orange and then finally the green so it based on the color coding that is being followed based on number of codes that you have you can do these configuration. I have just done the workaround over here with the minimum average and uh, the max of sales. However, you always have the option where you can have these categories with you as a separate values within the database or along with these categories as part of the KPI, uh, which you can show it to your user along with the uh, target. So target for me is coming over here the 20% ahead of what the actual value is. And then along with that, we can show this red, yellow, and green information based on the configuration that we are making, which makes it very interactive and useful for anyone who is viewing it and need to measure how well they are doing for their respective program that they're managing. So that's about it. And I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.